This is a Linux mode box. Our boxes are available in 2 port, 4 port, 6 port, 8 port, 10 port, and 12 port. This happens to be a 10 port box. As you can see, the refrigerant piping can come in from either end of the box. You cannot pass the piping through the box to another box, however, it is, you can bring the lines in on either end. The liquid line comes into the box and it is picked up by check valves located in the bottom here of liquid refrigerant returning from indoor units. That liquid refrigerant is then sent through a subcooler, leaves the subcooler and passes through a series of check valves where it can head out to the indoor units. The hot gas line is coming in here along the top. The hot gas line, if we need to heat, we open up these solenoids. The solenoids will then allow hot gas to go out to the indoor units and liquid refrigerant to come back. Coming back from the indoor units joins the refrigerant coming in from the outdoor unit through the plate heat exchanger and then can be used for other indoor units uh, in the cooling mode. We have a series of suction solenoids. The suction solenoids, when they energize, will allow liquid refrigerant to pass to the indoor unit and come back with suction gas. You also see some strainers on the hot gas line. They're not filter dryers, they're simply strainers. There is a solenoid SVB here, which equalizes the pressure from the hot gas line to the suction line every time the unit changes over from heating to cooling uh, or vice versa. There is, on this end, a plate heat exchanger that is, which does the subcooling for the uh, indoor units. It has a EEV to control the refrigerant flow through one side of the subcooler and it subcools the refrigerant so that we have a good solid column of liquid going out to the indoor units.